Hello friends, very good morning to all of you. So uh, yeah, like we completed the certificate uh, management and types of certificate session. Uh, now we are jumping to PF21 uh, that is SAML and binding types. Okay, so we can discuss about SAML, what is SAML, how SAML works. And then we can talk about the binding types, right? In SAML, like you will look for different different binding. We have like HTTP post binding, HTTP redirect binding, HTTP artifact binding, and we have the SOAP binding also, right? So we can talk on all these binding, what exactly this binding means, how it works, and how, how it basically play a role in, in the SAML communication, right? So we can understand those all things. And yeah, so, you, you're, uh, so you'll understand about this binding types in SAML, right? So yeah, let's quickly begin. And uh, then we can jump to the next uh, topic that is uh, SP versus IDP initiated SSO, right? So let's begin. Yeah, let's quickly discuss on the first session uh, that is SAML and binding types and then we can quickly discuss on a uh, few bindings so, SAML right so SAML I think we already discussed few things uh, like how uh, uh, something about SAML authentication requires SAML response but not something on a detail right so SAML by the abbreviation I think you all know right it's a security assertion markup language and it is a basically XML based open standard for transferring identity data between two parties. And when we say two parties, basically it's a service provider and the identity provider. So it's a XML based, I'll say, open standard, okay? One second here. Open standard, okay? XML based open standard for transferring identities right identity data between two party now how basically SAML like works like I think uh, let's see that let me erase this so what is the purpose of SAML and yeah <coughs> let's try to understand that so you have see like you have some person here okay say this person is as a Bob and here is a very general example maybe some of you already have but yeah let me repeat again and here you have someone uh, is a team Bob team okay we can say now Bob basically wants to just sending one request to Tim and just uh, sorry yeah. and just it's uh, uh, the subject is uh, looking for the topic of some match right a kind of like any any football cricket or any kind of match so I'll say Bob is sending one request to Tim I'll say this is a request and this is subject in subject what is the subject here so Bob is basically looking for the match information so subject is topic I'll say match any tournament okay something now what team will do team have the information for this right what Bob is asking he is having the information so what team will do team will just uh, save that information in the form of response to Bob I'll say this is a response and what is the message maybe you can say here like uh, I'll say like Germany any country name won the match okay so basically Bob just sent a request with the subject of the topic match so he's basically looking for the information for the topic match team have the information so team has sent that message in the form of response to Bob stating that Germany won the match. So this is a kind of assertion you can say. Assertion means information about the subject. You heard about this word right assertion assertion right. So what is assertion? It's nothing but the information about the subject. I'll say information about the subject. And what is the subject here? It's a match like here. Bob is looking for the information for the topic match and then team have the information the team just send that uh, in the form of response to the Bob stating Germany won the match and this is basically assertion 
that is information about the subject so it's uh, so you can see what is happening here so it's basically transferring identity data between two parties you can say this is a service provider and this is a identity provider so now while you're exchanging this data it, data ha it has to be in one form that's why you mentioned that uh, saml is a xml based open standard that means here the data is getting transferred using the xml later we can understand like uh, what uh, what is the difference between XML and JSON and other other, para, uh, other data like uh, other the other form of exchanging data like right? so we can understand later but for now just understand it's a uh, exchanging data identity between two parties and it's a base is based on the XML okay so this is one thing right uh, about SAML now I think uh, how SAML works I think uh, that part you have some idea already like if I can quickly show you okay leave that yeah so basically <laughs> yes yeah, so I think maybe if we have some idea that how SAML works so like if you remember that we have like a relying party here or a service provider you can say relying party or service provider right and here we have the identity provider who is basically verifying the user identity and here some somewhere we have the browser so if you remember that user is basically trying to access some application like www.abc.com so user will go to the browser and then from browser user will land to the application place right where it will basically DNS resolve to the application now in the application they have the uh, SAML is basically a protocol right uh, SSO protocol through which you are just uh, sending request uh, getting response and handling that uh, identity authentication part user authentication you can say for verifying the identity part authentication part you can say so from browser request is going to the application application have that uh, saml flow integrated from there basically they're just initiating a saml request we'll understand about binding also just after this that because when you are just sending some information from one place to another you need to bind that so we can just uh, quickly just discuss on that after this but here for now just understand that you have a saml request so saml authentication request because here application or relying party is not verifying the user so they basically generate a saml authentication request send that request using some binding mechanism to the browser and from browser to the IDP IDP is here in, in our case is acting as a ping fit is acting as IDP IDP basically just have connected to some directory server for user verification and or connected to some MFA source right for multi-factor part like that whatever the mechanism uh, set at the IDP, IDP end based on that it will verify the user once user verification done it will just generate a SAML response and this all message is going through which format in the XML right as I told so SAML response is generated and sent back to the browser and from browser to the application endpoint so whenever you are sending some information that you need to have the endpoint configured and how we get the endpoints and all that's uh, that's uh, basically in the initial we have the exchange of metadata so we can talk on metadata also just after this like two sessions so you'll get that but yeah you are using metadata only the exchange of information is done and the trust established using certificates and all and then you are basically you have the endpoint configured so that you are just sending that response to that particular endpoint address because this application have some different different endpoint addresses where they can consume the sample response so if you can send to some other place it will reject and user will not able to access this application so you need to be have endpoint configured where you are going to send and that's endpoint is called as a assertion consumer url also ACS assertion consumer service url where basically at that address uh, is that is assertion consumer service is the address where you are just sending the response so that the application consuming that token authorizing the user from their own database or from their own mechanism and then as per the user role user is able to uh, enter in the application so that's the flow here how the saml is going through right and i think yeah this is a very straightforward thing and uh, just a request response and yeah, if application have the supported that protocol then you can just uh, application can initiate that request and send to the IDP and the IPDP will verify the user and then send the response so the application can consume it and authorize the user so that's something yeah like we have a general flow 
now let's quickly discuss on binding types and we can in next session we can talk about the http request and http post binding so for now let's quickly discuss uh, different binding types just a second let me erase this Okay, so binding. Binding. So what is binding basically? So binding is nothing but a method or a way to transfer the request or response from one party to another. So you can see here you in the SAML flow you have two party, identity provider and service provider, and here basically you are sending some data. Basically, you are sending request in the form of SP sending the authentication request to IDP and IDP is basically sending the uh, so the response to the uh, service provider or the application. So basically, here you are transferring the request or response form of data. So the method or way you can say to transfer this request or response from one party to another that is called as binding. The method or way to transfer the request or response from one party to another. Okay, now we have the different binding types. You understand binding that it's a method or way to transfer the request or response from one party to another. Now you have different, different binding types. Using that, you can able to transfer that. So binding uh, supported by SAML 2.0 are opt, uh, outlined in the binding specification. So you have different, different like first I will say you, you have SAML SOAP binding. You have SAML soap binding then you have reverse soap binding then you have reverse soap binding then you have http request uh, sorry redirect binding then you have http post binding then you have HTTP artifact binding. Okay. And last you have SAML URI binding. So these are the different binding types as per the SAML outlined specification. Uh, but uh, second that I mentioned SAML URI binding. Yeah. But we are not going to discuss all of these binding. Uh, mainly we are using in our uh, project, you can say, or in the industry, these, these are the main three bindings. HTTP redirect binding, HTTP post binding, HTTP artifact binding. So we can just quickly discuss on next session what is HTTP redirect and HTTP post. And on the third session, we can quickly discuss on the artifact binding. And then we can close the session of this binding part and then we can quickly jump to the next, I think that is uh, service provider versus identity provider initiated SSO. What is the difference there? Like how, what, what exactly it's uh, changing there. Okay, so uh, thank you for the session and let's quickly jump to the next one.